A five year old deadly car accident complete with police video tonight getting attention because the driver is now the wife of U.S. Senator Bob Menendez. Both of them facing federal charges of taking bribes from businessmen. It happened in 2018 before they were married. Nadine Menendez driving her Mercedes in Bogota, Bogota, I should say, New Jersey, when she hit and killed a pedestrian. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan. Nadine Menendez was not about to take blame for killing a man who was crossing the street in Bogota. Why was the guy in the middle of the street? The guy was 49-year-old Richard Coop, the father of a young son, and on a December night in 2018, he was crossing the street in Bogota after taking an Uber home from a local bar. Surveillance video shows the incident. The car that hit Mr. Coop was driven by the soon-to-be wife of U.S. Senator Robert Menendez. Did you do anything wrong? He jumped on my windshield. She was barreling down the road, hit him, tossed him to the roadway, and then sat there in her car for a period of time. <laughs> police arrived, she claimed she was innocent, but said no when police asked her if they could examine her phone, which officers often do to see if a driver was texting at the time of an accident. You do not want to give me your phone, correct? Yeah. Okay. That was a tragic accident, and uh, uh, obviously uh, we think of the family. Menendez and his wife and two others are charged in a conspiracy to sell the senator's influence in exchange for cash and gold bars and, significantly, this black Mercedes Benz, which the indictment claims Mrs. Menendez needed to replace the car that was destroyed the night of the accident. I know you would like me to try my case in the press. I'll do it in court. And the indictment claims Senator Menendez pressured local officials to go easy on his future wife. And, in fact, Mrs. Menendez was never charged in connection with the accident. But Mr. Coop's family did pursue the case with Mrs. Menendez's insurance company, and the family won. We made a, a claim against the defendant and her insurance company, and they agreed that she was completely at fault, and we got the maximum recovery that we were able to do for the estate.